everyone. Welcome to Fun Learn with Tipti. Today we are going to start the chapter, chapter number 13, Exponents and Power. And this is for class 7. This is going to be an introductory video, okay? So let's start. Let's suppose I take a number like 43000000000. Can you read this number? It is very difficult to read, right? So very large number are not only difficult to read, write or even compare. Okay, so what we do? We write such large numbers in shorter form using exponent. Let's see. Let us take a number. This. Okay, so how we can write it? We can write it as 10 multiplied by 10, multiplied by 10, multiplied by 10, multiplied by 10. 10 is going to be multiplied 5 times. Why? Because four, uh, 5 zeros are there. We can write it as 10 and 5 over here. How to read this? We can read it as 10 raised to the power Five. Okay, 10 raised to the power 5 or simply as 5th power of 10. Okay, this 5 is known as exponent and this 10 is called as base. So can you tell me 5 raised to the power 4, what is exponent over here and what is base? Correct, 4 is the exponent and 5 is the base okay so what does it mean 5 raised to the power 4 what is uh, what is the meaning of this it means 5 is going to be multiplied how many times 4 times this is equals to 5 multiplied by 5, multiplied by 5, multiplied by 5. That means base is going to be multiplied by itself. And how many times? 4 times. Why? Because it is the exponent. Okay? So your final answer will be 5 into 5 is 25. 25 multiplied by 5 is 125. And 125 multiplied by 5 is 625. So... 5 raised to the power 4, the value of it will be 625. Right. In the same way, we can write 27 as 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 and which is equals to 3 raised to the power 3. Now, try to find out how we can express this. We can express this as 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3. Okay. And this is equals to 3 to the power 4. Now let's suppose we are uh, talking about this uh, positive integer, right? But if it is a negative number, if the base is negative, let's suppose 1 to the power any odd number. If the exponent is odd number, then the final result is going to be a negative 1. The answer will be minus 1. If minus 1, any power of odd number, then minus 1 will be the answer. If minus 1 is the base and the power is even, then your answer is going to be positive. Plus 1 or simply 1. Okay. So let's suppose I take one more example. Minus 3 raised to the power 3. So the answer should be A minus negative. 3 raised to the power 3 is 27. So the final answer will be equals to minus 27. And if I write minus 3 raised to the power 4, then our answer will be only 81 plus 81. Why? Because the exponent or the power is 4. Right? 
Now we will discuss the laws of exponent. The first one, where the base remains the same. Base, the base is same. Okay, so the first one. If the base is A and it has got different exponent M and N, then the result will be A raised to the power M plus N. Okay, base are same. Let us take one example. 3 to the power 4 multiplied by 3 to the power 2. So, your answer will be, we have to take the same base that is 3 and we have to add the 2 exponent that is 4 plus 2. So, your final answer will be 3 raised to the power 6. Now, we will see the next case when the base is same but it is the case of division. Okay. So, what will be our answer? A M minus N. Okay. Now, let us take one example. Again, we will take the similar kind of example. 3 raised to the power 4 divided by 3 raised to the power 2. The answer will be 3 raised to the power 4 minus 2 and that will be equals to 3 raised to the power 2. Next one is power of power. That means if A is there and let's suppose its power is M, A raised to the power M and its power is N. Then what we are going to do? We just have to multiply these powers, this exponent. Okay, m multiplied by n. Let's see similar example. Three raised to the power four raised to the power two is equals to three raised to the power four multiplied by two, and that will be equals to three raised to the power eight. The next law is about same exponent. Let's suppose uh, if there are different bases but their power or exponent is the same then what we are going to do. Take the first one. A raised to the power n multiplied by b raised to the power n. So here the bases are different but the exponent is same. So what we are going to do? We just have to multiply this and this raised to the power m. Okay. So, let's take an example. 3 raised to the power 4 multiplied by, um, let's suppose, 5 raised to the power 4. So, what we are going to do is, we just have to multiply 3 with 5 and raised to the power 4. The final answer will be 15 raised to the power 4. In a similar manner, we have the other one. Let's suppose A raised to the power M divided by B raised to the power M. That will be equals to A by B raised to the power M. Okay, let's take an example. 5 raised to the power 4 divided by um, 3 raised to the power 4. So, we can write it as 5 by 3 raised to the power 4. Simple. Now, if suppose the power is 0, let's suppose if I take a to the power 0, so what is the answer here? Is it going to be 0? No, it's not. a raised to the power 0 is equals to 1. If I write 5 raised to the power 0, the answer will be 1. If I write 4 raised to the power 0, the answer will be 1. Any number raised to the power 0, the answer will be 1. Now we will discuss about the standard form. How to write the number in its standard form. Let's suppose I have a number 67. We can write this number as 6.7 multiplied by 10 to the power 1. Correct. Now if I take 670 
In a similar manner, we can express it as 6.7 multiplied by 10 raised to the power 2. Okay, why? Because we are shifting this uh, decimal point 1, 2 places over here. So, power 2 here in this case, we are shifting only 1 place. So, power 1 in a similar manner, can you tell me what will be the standard form of this? 6.7 10 raised to the power what? Tell me 1, 2, 3. So we are shifting this point 1, 2 and 3. So here the power will be 3. Okay, I hope all of this is clear and if you have got any kind of doubt you can just write in the comment section.